Hello, in this OpenGL video, we're going to look at character input using GLFW. Character input differs slightly from keyboard input, which we've covered in the previous video. Keyboard input is great if you're, let's say, playing a game and you don't care if the user clicks the W key and the caps lock is on or off, or you don't really care if it's if they're using any other dead keys but you might want to distinguish between an uppercase letter and a lowercase letter by using combinations of dead keys like shift for example when you're allowing the user to input text an example of this would be a user inputting their username for a high score you want them or most likely you want them to be able to put uppercase lowercase and a combination of the two and to do that you need something like character input to do it really simple stuff you just need to create a couple of function declarations so I'm going to do void character callback I'm only going to create one for now I'll create the other one later in this video so there's two different ways of doing it and this takes two parameters GL FW window this is a pointer to our window that we're handling input for this is an unsigned int code point this is basically the key that had been pressed I'm actually gonna just put this as key key code that's probably better and we're also going to need the IO stream header just because we're going to be logging out what we're doing next we can copy and paste this down here and in here we're going to do a simple C out of the key code std end line we're almost done we just need to actually set the character callback and to do that, just do it anywhere after you've initialized the window. And just put GL FW set character callback. This takes two parameters. First is a window. Next is the callback method that we're going to be calling. So it's called character callback. Now we're actually ready to run this. So if we just run this bad boy our application got nothing in there but we don't care about that I'm gonna click the A key as you can see it's printed at 97 if I just go to this ASCII table right here 97 is a lowercase a and uppercase a is 65 I've just pressed the shift key it doesn't print any of that out it only prints out just regular keys it doesn't print out dead keys or modifier keys as they're sometimes called but if I keep shift key pressed and click the A button, it should say 65 because the uppercase A is 65 and that's the same with if I were to press the caps lock caps lock is now on but because it's a modifier key it didn't actually print anything out now if I click A, it says 65 if I turn it off and click A, it says 97 that's the same with all these random keys I'm just pressing random keys so that's how you would handle character input I did mention that there is another callback and that is void you can actually call these whatever you want character mod callback this allows you to detect the different type of modifier key that has been used so you might want to distinguish between a shift key and a caps lock key and all these other different types of keys and command for example so for this this just takes three parameters glfw window pointer to our window unsigned int this is just the key code then a regular int which is modifier key now we can simply copy and paste that and what we're going to do is simply copy and paste this also do if mods equals one I know that one is the shift modifier key 
I'm just going to do std c out shift key is pressed that should be modify key not mods and line fix this capitalization and now we can finally just set the character callback for that you do gl fw set character mods callback specify the window then the callback method and now we're actually ready to run but before we do i'm just going to comment out the set character callback method simply because we don't want them to be interfering and print out various stuff you probably only have one at any given time actually no it's, pretty, it's perfectly logical to have multiple i would say yeah it is so we've got this cool little method if i click the a key it says 97 if i keep shift key pressed and i click a key say 65 and shift key is pressed i'm going to press actually i'm also going to do this Per colon so you can see the modifier key being printed so let's rerun that I'm just pressing the A key without any modifier key being pressed click shift and press A say 65 1 if I click command for example and click A it says 97 because command and A doesn't make it uppercase or lowercase but it is a modifier key and that prints out Eight. so if you wanted to detect if the user is pressing command and a then you would check are they pressing or is the key 97 and is the modifier key 8 so that's how you handle character input with dead keys as well pretty simple stuff if you want to check out the source code there'll be a link in the description plus there'll be a link in the description to all the source code from this series There'll be another link which will be to our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk which has thousands of free videos and you can post any question you have on there and we will answer it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.